So what we have done here is take a mouse liver, isolate the cells, put them in a petri dish, and then put the appropriate nutrients, and they start expanding. And the nice thing of it, and most exciting about it, is that it is from an adult mouse liver. So that means that now we can take any adult tissue from a liver, any adult liver tissue, put it into culture, and then expand it and form what we call mini livers in vitro. That means that they are functional liver cells. And as a implica very important implication is that they will be able to mimic liver diseases, but also they will help us to reduce the number of animals that are used in the liver research field. The benefit of uh, the culture system on animal on liver research and the reduction on the number of animals is going to be immediate. Let's put an example. One animal experiment, let's say to test one drug, we need 20 to 50 animals per one drug for a one disease. If now we want to test thousands of drugs, we're talking that we need 50 times 1,000 animals, so 50,000 animals, only for one drug, for one disease. Now, if we put it on perspective, in all around the world, there is 500 million people dying from a liver disease. So we cannot test the uh, treatments for these people. The advantage of the culture system is that we can test 1,000 drugs only in one culture, coming from only one mouse. So we will reduce the number of animals used in research by hundred thousands and that will definitely impact on not only on animal numbers but also definitely on human health. For the limb field it means that now many of my colleagues instead of having to use many animals to test hypotheses or drugs or uh, compounds they can use the culture system first, narrow down the hypotheses or the compounds they want to use to treat a particular disease and then once they have one or two compounds that are the best on working on the culture system they can then validate this one on the mouse. So it will have a huge impact I hope on the liver research field if my colleagues implement that in, in their labs.